What's up, Chicago Bears fans? This offseason, it just seems to keep getting worse and worse for us. And today, today sucked. It really did. Because we lost a good one. A real good one. Today, the Chicago Bears have decided to cut Kyle Fuller. And why? Because of cap space. Kyle Fuller, who's played for us for seven seasons, who is a Pro Bowl-type talent, who just turned 29 years old in February, is a cap casualty. He'll save us around $14 million in cap space. Now, you guys already know how I feel about the cap space. The cap is a myth. And you know what? I think Cordell Patterson agrees with me because today he tweeted this out. He said, stop using the cap space as an excuse. And I completely agree with him. Because look at, look at our situation right now, Chicago Bears. We have Jalen Johnson, great rookie season, and I think he has a bright future. But our depth now sucks. And it's absolutely worrisome. It has me worried, and it should for you too. $14 million in cap space. And what's Ryan Bates going to do with it? Do I have confidence he's going to do something right with it? Is he going to extend Allen Robinson? Now, speaking of Allen Robinson, he did sign his tag. So, thank you, Allen Robinson, for doing that. Because I really wouldn't have blamed him for not signing it and just sitting out. I really wouldn't have. But, thank goodness, he did do that. Now watch him. Now watch us trade him. Watch us trade him or some shit. But anyway... Kyle Fuller is hitting the open market. And that makes him one of the best free agents available right now, especially on the defensive side. I'll tell you, man, this offseason has just really worked my nerves with Ryan Pace. Ryan Pace to hell with you, man. First, we hear about the whole Russell Wilson thing. We're really aggressive and going after Russell Wilson. Our hopes are uh, really high. We're really excited because we're going to go gung-ho on Russell Wilson. And we did make an offer. And that's what some Chicago Bears fans will say. But Josh, Josh, it's not Ryan Pace's fault. Josh, come on. Ryan Pace, he was aggressive. He reached out to Seattle and he offered all kinds of stuff. The sun, the moon, and the stars for Russell Wilson. But the Seahawks said no. So... Josh, you can't really fault him in that situation. Okay, fair enough. He tried, but the Seahawks said no. Fine, fair. But I can't fault him for putting himself in that situation. And then we have to settle with Andy Dalton. And apparently, Andy Dalton thinks that he was told that he's going to be the starter next year. But, but I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen with that? We have Andy Dalton and Nick Foles going into next season. And with our offensive line, with the tackles positions, I don't know, man. That that just uh, has me worried and scared. But um, Ryan Pace has really worked my nerves as a Bears fan this offseason. And uh, I, I just don't really have any confidence in that he's going to, you know, make any really good moves here going forward. Um, the draft, we have the draft coming up. But, um, <clears throat> and hopefully we can just hope for the best there. But anyway, Kyle Fuller, thank you so much, man, for everything you gave to us here in Chicago. Us Bears fans will always love you. Wish you the best in your future. Now, as far as where Kyle Fuller should go, I think one of the best places for him would be the Denver Broncos. And apparently, they are interested in Kyle Fuller. Now, remember, Vic Fangio used to be our defensive coordinator, so he could be reuniting with Vic Fangio. So I think Denver Broncos would be a really good fit. But let me know in the comment section of where you guys think Kyle Fuller should go. Oh, hey, Josh. Yeah, what? I'm recording a video. What? Oh, um, well, I'm going to say sorry I heard about Kyle Fuller. Um, yeah, it sucks, man. It sucks. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so he's he's available now, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and? Well, you know, my Cowboys, we can use a, a, a corner. Did you really just interrupt my video to come on here mm -hmm. and talk about your Dallas Cowboys and what you could do? I just suffered a horrible loss today, and you're going to come in here, and you're going to try to pounce on Kyle Fuller? But Get out of here, Cowboys fan! Get out of here! Ah. Fuck you, Ryan Pace!